you have an RG35XXH, a plus, or just the standard, um, if you do and you have an extra SD slot here that's empty, I'm going to show you how to add games to it. So the first thing you want to do is take a new card or you want to use a branded card, not one that comes with it. Take a new card or one that you want to clear off for this such a subject. I have to put mine into a little adapter. Then you're going to put it in the computer. First thing we're going to do is format it. Stuck in over here into my USB slot and we are going to pull up the file manager. And then we want to go over here to the side and pick our drive. It's empty. I'm going to right click it, go up to format. We're just going to use a 32 gig card just for simplicity's sake on, on this video. But if you want to do a bigger card, I'll show you how to do that in another video. Uh, up to a 32 gig SD card, you can just do right here in Windows real easy. So instead of FAT32 here, click on that. We want to go, oh, we do want it. Sorry, we do want it to be FAT32 on this one. Quick format's fine. Start. Telling you that it'll erase. That's fine. Format complete. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Pull the file manager back up. And now we want to make sure we eject. And now what we want to do is take this card out. Take the card out of here, and we're going to stick it in the game. Okay, we're going to stick it in. That's what she said. We're locked in there. Now we're going to turn it on. And it should ask us which card we want to work from. It be Oh, that was that was one. Okay. That's what I thought. So if you select two, I don't think it'll say anything. No game files. This is what I expected. So hit A for OK. Like I said, just wait a second. It just seems like it's not doing anything. Go ahead and hit B. Hit B again. Go ahead and turn it off. And what it was actually doing, even though you couldn't see it, it was writing the names of the folders like we saw on the other card. Now we're going to take it out of here again. Put it back in the adapter. And then we're going to stick this in the PC, and we should have our folders to put game ROMs in. All right, so I'm going to take my SD card adapter. So this is the uh, files that we have after sticking it in the card and then just letting it do its thing and pulling it out. So here are all of our folders there under ROMs. Now let me find desktop. And I have a folder of ROMs here. Open it up. Let's just look. Let's find. Okay, so we have. Let me find one. It's in a zip file. All right, so here we have Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. I want to copy that. Copy. Now let's go back to our card. And let's add it to its Super Famicom game. We should put it here. There's nothing in that folder at the moment. Oh, that's right. There's nothing in any of these folders. So let's just go ahead and paste it here. And then the other thing that people have problems with is that uh, uh, it doesn't matter on this one. The file extension, this one's going to be .zip because it's a zipped file. But if you have problems with what file extensions or your um, games aren't showing up, definitely check and make sure that your right 
file extension is on there. And you can look at, I have a video, it's the how to add ROMs to the MiU Mini Plus, the technical information, and that should help you there. The NES file here, dot NES, um, file extension. Let's go here and open up our card. Now we have two folders here. Open up ROMs. Let's go down and find Famicom. Right click and paste this guy here. And so our ROM should be in there. You know it. Now let's <clears throat> eject the card again. See, I'm right there. You can, um, you know, load whatever ROMs you want. I'm just doing one for example, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Back to our drive. Eject. Now it's safe to eject. So <clears throat> let's take this guy out. Put it back in our game. And we start it up here. And we got a good long while to wait. But yeah, you put one, whatever games you want on here. Um, I think you can put movies and music and stuff too. And then when you put it back into the card over here now, we're going to pick the second option, the second card over here. That's the first one. This is the second one. And now let's go to find NES. There it is. There we have Yonoid. Yonoid works. Let's see. A good game. I want to check one more thing. Super NES, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And both of our games that we loaded worked. So that is how you do that. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them all as we go. Um, I'm going to upgrade the firmware on this next and then we'll check out the stock operating system and then uh, i want to download arc os for it and check it out and see which one's better and stick around follow for more info